Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com. I'm going to be showing you how to transfer a domain name from one registrar to another registrar, like your web host to a new web host, or GoDaddy to your web host. So the easiest way, first of all, is to actually just point the um, domain to a new name server rather than transfer the whole. It's a much more complicated process to transfer. If you want to know just how to point it to a different name server, the video is right there. I'd recommend that, but let's go ahead and get started. If not. So I'm going to use, for instance, Fat Cow. Now, it, there's always usually a fee to transfer a domain. So I have my hosting account and domain on Fat Cow Hosting. And uh, basically the same process is going to apply, just different control panel look. And I want to transfer it over to Namecheap. So I'm going to transfer my domain from Fat Cow to Namecheap. So let's go ahead and log in. And you go into the domain section, like Domain Central. And you can see my domain right there, outdoorsteveblogs.com. So I'm just going to expand that. And now the first two things you always need to do, no matter what host or wherever your domain is, you need to unlock it. See right here, domain lock active. Go ahead and unlock that. So you see down here, uh, unlock domain. So you need to unlock it. It now has been unlocked. The second thing is you need to d disable domain privacy. If you have who is guard or who is privacy, any type of privacy on the domain, disable it. I don't have any right now, but if you do, you need to disable the privacy and unlock the domain. Now, let's go up to transfers. So once you have done those two things, now the other third thing is you have to have been you have to have owned the domain for at least 60 days. Some will require 90 days, but you need to have the domain for at least 60 days before you can transfer it. Not sure why, but that's pretty much how everybody is. So I haven't had this domain for 60 days, but we're just going to pretend I have. Um, so everything is good except uh, you need to have it for 60 days. Then also make sure the email is correct. Your who is your contact email address for the ad administrator. They're going to send you a code. So then what you're going to do is right here, click send authentic uh, authentication code. It might be called EPP. It's an EPP authorization code. They're going to send you that to this email address. So it's basically a verification code. So that's all we have to do for here. Okay, so now we want to transfer the domain to Namecheap. This is where I want the domain to be sent to. So I'm just going to log into my account. It's basically the same process for GoDaddy or whoever else. And let's see, manage transfers. Actually, transfer a domain. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enter the domain I'm trying to transfer. So let's go back to Fat Cow. You see, this is the domain, outdoorsteveblogs.com, and I want to send it to Namecheap. And so GoDaddy's might be a different process. HostGator might be a different process, but it's the same concept and method. Um, so start transfer. Now, this is not going to actually work because, as you see, it's not over 60 days old. But what will happen is you continue the process, click Add to Cart, at least for Namecheap, and then it's eventually going to ask you for that verification code that was sent to your email when you clicked this button here. And then you're going to enter that and go through that process. And there's, again, remember, all the any transfer usually has a fee. There's a, tr there's a fee to transfer it, like from Fat Cow to Namecheap or GoDaddy to Fat Cow. So, but that's the basic concept. I'd recommend using their help sections or tutorials or contact them. So it's just three things. It needs to be 60 days old, unlock the domain, disable privacy, and then actually the fourth thing is get the EPP authorization code. And then have it sent to your email, go to where you're trying to receive it, and go through their process and enter the code and all that. Pay the fees. It might be $5. It might be $25. I think Namecheap charges $5 to transfer it to elsewhere. Um, I think Fat Cow charges like $25 to um, transfer it so that's how you pretty much transfer a domain I would personally recommend what's less what's a lot easier is just change the name servers point them to something different and that video is here if you want to check it out and that's about it you can go ahead and use our contact form if you have any other questions on hostexaminer.com and thanks for watching